my fellow Gotham Knights fans, it's Andy here back with another Gotham Knights video. This is a build video and yeah, I know what you're thinking. Uh, isn't this supposed to be a Batgirl build? And that's Nightwing? Yeah, it is, but don't worry, I haven't got it wrong. The uh, reason why I'm using Nightwing is I just want to show you, if we click on Batgirl here, with where I'm up to at the minute, obviously that's how she's described, as you know with each character when you look at them, but look at that power level. 23,800 I know that, crazy Let's find out how she's that high Alright guys, so here we are on our uh, menu This is our loadout screen And uh, if we take a look at the stats down the right hand side As you can see, 23,800 power Health, 5,850 Defense, 4,710 Melee damage 2378 with an 84% crit chance and 308 uh, crit damage. Range damage, even though this is 845 with a 75% crit chance and 270 range damage. I've played around with different gear on this. Uh, there was a piece I was using in my range, I think it is. Uh, Batarang that I had that only gave me 308, uh, 303, I think it was, or 308 range damage with a 20% crit, about 120 crit damage, which is alright, it wasn't going wrong because of the properties and the perks of that particular piece, but kind of wanted to try out something where I can get a decent bit of range damage if I'm, you know, flicking my Batarangs at people, as you will see uh, in some of the gameplay at the end, and you may have seen some at the beginning. Uh, but yeah, we're literally going more melee crit focus with this build Which is why we're kind of using the pieces that we are If you're not too bad about crit damage and you just want a build That can have some decent health and decent defense uh, Good survivability, pretty much unkillable Where I've got this Undying Tonifer here uh, Just quickly talk about these, if you farm this the range piece version of it and the suit and uh, use all three you'll <laughs> pretty much be unkillable because uh, if I just quickly show you if we look at the props ignore the mods there at the bottom look just for the first thingy there uh, greatly increases armor when health is low so if your health goes low uh, the undying set will obviously pick your armor up ignore those mods because that's what we're using on this mod we'll talk about those in a second uh, but this is what the melee piece gives you Greatly increases defense when health is low And it also instantly grants Max momentum When health is low again, so if you're getting in a bit of trouble I'm not really using this piece Because it does that as if I'm always going to be low health Because uh, these probably kick in a bit less often because my health is very rarely Dangerously low that they would kick in but it's just handy to have them as they do the main things we're using is the mod chips there which we'll talk about in a second but yeah uh, and another suit you could look for i think i have one here this one if you get it at level 40 which is the start of one again reinforced suit just gives you a massive amount of health and a massive amount of defense and again as you can see there with what that one gives you it's all about knocking out enemies and increases defense for short duration when health is low again same kind of thing uh, but we're not using that for this build we're using the regenerator suit which is this one so it's a legendary suit that increases Batgirl's defense when her health is full and if you keep so in other words if you keep her health full all the time or sell as much as you can, trying to avoid too many hits and your defense will always be up. Um, we're using. I've kind of played about with this. Uh, it's only a three slot, so you can get them with four, I think. You can use, as you see with the second and third one there, health and defense. You could use three of the Fox mods that are just health and defense. I'm just testing this one out at the minute. Uh, the concussive resistance 12%, just to see if I get hit by too much concussion effects whether it will affect me I did actually get hit by somebody last night and it still gave me concussion slightly so I may swap that back out 
excuse me. Uh, yeah, I may swap that top one back out for another health and defense one rather than the concussion one because it's kind of pointless. But you can play around with them. Uh, we'll talk about the mods better in a second. But we're using this one, untouchable shell. Increases defense when health is full. And also, knockout shell. Using an ability increases armor for a short duration. And ruthless, yeah, sorry, ruthless heal grants health over time after dealing critical damage. Now, as a crit build, we're pretty much got a very high chance of dealing crit damage. So, if we need a heal and we've dealt crit damage, we get a good heal from it. So, that's the suit, the tone of like I say, we're using the undying at the moment. Uh, the one that we could be using is this one which is a stagger tonifer but really I want to try and get because it's got the extra crit ordinary damage on that but I want to try and get like the legendary first so we're using the undying which we've already talked about the stats there uh, we're going to our range piece again we're using the overtime effect batarang so this is another legendary batarang again you can get this at level 40 and what this does, it provides momentum, uh, momentum generation and grants health over time when performing a perfect evade, which as you know, if someone's about to hit you, if you dodge at the right time, so you do a perfect dodge, perfect evade, uh, it will give you momentum and health. Talk about mods in a second. And then this grants health over time after performing a perfect evade and increases momentum build up over time after performing a perfect evade. Yes, it's all about perfect evades, so if you dodge hits from people coming out, if you can try to dodge as many hits with perfect evades as good as you can, you're going to get your momentum up a lot quicker and get health back, so you're going to be pretty much unkillable, really. Uh, and especially with Batgirl, as we'll see with her special momentum abilities after one of them that I'll talk about and you'll also see it in action in the gameplay at the end the bat swarm especially is just oh it's incredible uh, it puts fear on enemies it protects back girl while you're fighting for the duration that it's up plus it also deals damage to enemies as well so it's amazing and if you've got your drone up as well which is her ultimate ability yes it's not super powerful but it all helps so that is the gear like I say, they all say level 60, but you should be able to get it at level 4 to just by farming your missions out in the world. You may even get them to drop in Heroic Assault if you're doing that. That's another way you can do it, but post Heroic Assault, they also increase the cap if you've done New Game Plus uh, out in the world. So now any enemies you fight out in the world are actually at the, the level 60, the same as you. So they're not all bullet sponges and just really easy to kill. It's actually a bit more of a fight again now, which is great. Skills wise, I've pretty much unlocked everything. I'm just trying to do all the side stuff now. Just to get my last two points. Because apparently you can actually max this whole thing out by doing all your side activities. All your little side quests and everything. Uh, pretty much self-explanatory these. Your health boosts and different bits and pieces. Uh, if you're just starting out, I would try and get her all her special stuff, so this section all unlocked first. Because if you go through security cameras or the red beams, where they normally trigger, once you've unlocked, I'm not sure which one it is, but one of these, uh, you can pretty much... Uh, this gives, these all give you health, sorry. So these all do your health. You got health boosts and increase all different things, which is great. Uh, there's your special your knighthood stuff, which you'll have to do your challenges to unlock all your knighthood. So I'll get them done sort of as quick as you can. But we're back, girl, now. Uh, I'm not sure which skill it is, but there's one of them where now if I walk in front of a camera or through the red beams that block doors off sometimes now. She doesn't trigger an alarm because of her special ability that she can't be detected by cameras, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, I think it's that one there, as you can see, she can hack it. 
if you can hack the cameras. So yeah, so you can either hack them to disable them or if it's just Batgirl, if you've got everything unlocked, as I have as you'll see in the gameplay, you can literally walk into a camera and it won't even detect you. It's brilliant. Momentum abilities, you'll have to do different challenges again to unlock these. Uh, this took me a while to get. There we go, swarm of bats. So when you've got your two bars of momentum, you, if you're on console, you hold R1, hold circle, which will bring the bats out, they'll fly around there. As you see on the right hand side there, the little uh, video clip, and it'll say that it inflicts fear on the enemies, it, in, it deals damage to enemies, and it also keeps you protected a little bit more if you're in a big fight as well. Very helpful, especially against like, the mob and the regulators, those where they throw things at you constantly or you're constantly getting shot you'll see how that works pretty good in the gameplay at the end but they're best ones really um, that's a good one to get if you use the hold all one again and tap circle if you just need that extra little damage boost for a split short duration use it if you've got it and it's, it's pretty strong so it's pretty self-explanatory really with the skills, there isn't a lot to go into, as I say. Um, mods, got all those different ones there, but they're all kind of mixed up. But what I'm using, primarily as you saw on the suit, is a mixture of a concussive mod there and two fox mods, health, what, health and armour. You could use, like I say, three health and armour if you want. The fox mods, definitely. You can get other regular mods in the game, but I think they only give you health. So if you want good health and defense, I strongly recommend using the Fox mods, which you get from the Batman caches, which I think are either, is it 10 or 12? That you collect sort of throughout the whole city. Uh, if you're doing New Game Plus, I would wait until you've done New Game Plus and you're level 40 at least. Start collecting them then, and you'll probably if you want four for each sub so suit range and melee uh, you probably need to do two maybe three playthroughs of the game you don't have to complete the whole game uh, you just progress about a quarter of the way into the story I think after you've done the Harley Quinn prison mission I think or just after Penguin the first time you can get your first Batman cash that you find and then all the others start appearing gradually so you don't have to keep completing the game and then restart a new game plus just do it until you get the point of where you get all of your caches off each island I think the top island is three same on the next bit they're kind of all spread out but you'll see them like a box shape on your map go up activate the bat symbol that's there and obviously you have to run through the different little targets to collect them with all the time runs out and they give you the fox mods uh, you get different ones as well but the health and defense fox mods are really really good uh, so that's on the suit Oops. it's the same on this one fox mods again and I'm using the fox mod crit chance and crit damage four of those because this is a four slot melee so that's really boosting up our crit chance there uh, and then with the range piece we're using a fox mod crit enhancer which is why we're getting it slightly higher and another fox mod crit enhancer there and again so three there you can if you wanted to if you're not bothered about range crit if you're just going more for a regular build with a bit of elemental build up you could just use the basic uh, elemental build up mods that you get, elemental effect mods which if you use the modular concussive batarang with that girl, I've got that as well, uh, put three of the elemental effect build ups on it, if you play the game on the sort of the easier difficulty certainly at first you can hit an enemy with one to two batarangs and they'll have concussion on them really really quick, it's pretty good. Uh, yeah, so we've seen what each piece gives, but that's the three mods for there. 
uh, that I think pretty much covers it all. If you have any questions, do leave them in the comments down below. I did previously put a video out a little while back that I think I called an insane melee crit build for Batgirl. Uh, underrated, and that was kind of a pre sort of build video. It wasn't even really a guide, it was just showing what I was using at the time. But since then, I've had quite a bit of time to work on and play with her and uh, figure stuff out a bit more, do a bit of research. And at the moment, uh, this kind of works really good for me. This is how I play her, and as I say, this is on the normal difficulty, so it's not the highest difficulty in the game, but it's better than on the easy mode because on easy now she's she just uh, very easy it's just completely pointless because she can just one tap everything with this build now i still have to have a little bit of a fight with some of the enemies but it actually feels rewarding and worth playing i'm not just like tap tap and they're dead <laughs> don't want to just be doing that i do want a little bit of a fight with some of them uh but now i'll show you some gameplay so thanks for checking this out guys, as I say, hope you enjoyed it, give me a like if you did, just helps the algorithm for YouTube push this out to more people, subscribe if you haven't already, thank you if you have, that's enough from me and I'll catch you guys in the next one, enjoy the gameplay, take it easy guys, bye for now. and you'll be fine. Stop! Stay here and try to be quiet. I can do this. You're gonna stop them now, right? I'm itching to get going.
Stay here and try to be quiet. They're gonna kill us. Please save me. Thanks for everything. Thank God we've got real heroes who can out. Didn't even break a sweat.